problems that students have with learning than to ask the students themselves. So I asked some people, what are the problems we have with the way we learn? And I got three people that said we learned at too fast of a pace, and others replied with teachers use too advanced a vocabulary, other students are disruptive, too much memorization involved, and that the lectures aren't interactive enough, so you stop paying attention. So I want to go back and address a few of these. First off would be the other students being disruptive. Most of you would probably assume that the teacher can't take control of the classroom, which, while that can be true, you can almost think maybe if we would have had more stricter disciplinary with well-behaved manner, manner when we were younger, then maybe it wouldn't be a problem now when we're older. Also, you can maybe think the parents are the issue with that one, not so much the school. The second one is that there's too much memorization involved, which I can relate to because in math I often think, why do we have to memorize all these equations and notes if in the real world, real world we can just go back and look at them without having to memorize them? Most teachers will probably tell you that memorization will help you learn. And while that can be true, most of the time memorization is just regurgitating the information without knowing how to put it into practical use. So when you so if you memorize the information and then you learn from it, but then you have to memorize a whole new set of information, you're most likely just going to forget the past information and you won't be learning. Third is the learning at too fast of a pace. And I found an interesting fact on Concordia Online that said most textbooks are written for a semester schedule. So you could think that maybe we're cramming too much information to too small of amount of time when some classes are just one trimester, which I think brings up the conversation of going to semesters a lot, which a lot of people have very strong opinions about. So now that we know the issue, how are we going to fix it? Well, my suggestion is to create basically a comment box or a suggestion box where kids would fill out a slip of paper and turn it into the box. And then you'd have someone appointed to read them and go through them to find out which ones could really be helpful and just not the nonsense ones. Also, um, when you have to go to Mr. Kingsbury to say your suggestion, a lot of times he'll bring in the teacher and the student into one meeting, which then can be awkward for the teacher having the principal in there and the student since now the teacher knows the direct student that has an issue. So I, it's important to know both sides of this story and notice that when I asked the questions of what's wrong with our learning, I didn't say teaching, I said learning. Because often a lot of people thought that there would be too much blame placed on the teachers with this and that the students do need to take responsibility for their learning, which I do agree with, but at some point you can't go in every single morning and stay late every single day because obviously then something's not working past just you not understanding it. So I interviewed the teachers and Miss Fleming, the educational coach, said that she really thought it could be helpful and could benefit, but she was worried about kids using the box for other unhelpful suggestions. And then Mr. Zuspan, a teacher, he was really not, not for it in the beginning because again of the too much blame placed on the teachers and he strongly felt like this would be a good idea if the students are doing everything they can to help themselves. But after I explained it a little bit more, he did too think that it could be helpful. And Mr. Kingsbury, he said that he has been in a school in the past that has had one and could see it as potentially something that we could do. So I next interviewed students and 100% of the students thought it would be beneficial. I interviewed 16 students and all 16 said yes. Then I asked seven students if they would use it and five said they would use it and two said they wouldn't use it. So now that you've seen the problems students have with learning, my solution to the problem and some of the feedback I got it, I hope you can see how maybe having a suggestion box <coughs> for our learning. And also the next time you're in class, maybe if you're having issues, you could think of the benefits of this.